Hello everyone. Today I have this type of device. Also a cheap one, as always. This time a girl brought it to me, said she, it's not working. And uh, an interesting thing might be that we've got a shirt on the out input. Here you can see my tester, USB tester, of course everyone or somebody can tell that this is dodgy, this is bullshit, you should buy yourself a digital one. Actually I want it and probably I have somewhere a cheap one, but sometimes it is much better to have an analog one and I actually I prefer this one so here I have 5 volts input here I have the USB output some box which I have laying around and one dollar and a half a meter and I do like it 5 amps just like an indicator so if I put it into for a short time by the way my lightning also goes from the same power supply so if we try it it's more than 3 amps and even my light blinks so it's definitely short somewhere in this board and that's what we are gonna find out now I'm gonna turn it open and see what might be short okay I've opened it here's part with a speaker by the way here's the place for the battery but the battery is missing here we have the connector for the battery probably somebody already opened it maybe the battery was swollen or something like this first of all I, I want to check the connector from inside from this side it's looking good probably I can see see if somebody opened it or maybe not but we'll see here is probably Wi-Fi cheap or Bluetooth I don't really know but I'm gonna find out I'm gonna find it out I think everyone likes shorted devices because actually they are easy to fix if it's not the GPU or processor problem because when the processor is shorted you can't do anything it's not worth repairing even for people like us for enthusiasts it's not really good okay now I'm gonna find my screwdriver of course I cannot see it right now when I need it so see you in a few minutes so I removed this board and if I try put this the same I've got the same current more than 3 amps so there is no need to check anything further because we've got a problem in here somewhere first of all we have to check I think this diet and this one is good this cap 
this cap this cap is showing and it is showing short this cap is showing short and those caps what about those caps those caps these are showing okay so I'm gonna use this tool if you can call it a tool it's just a bullshit from an old motherboard I took it out put it on a pro board and uh, here I can put plus and minus plus 5 volts and or maybe even less it doesn't really matter I can put it to my power supply limit the current to 2 amps or something like this and put it here and check what's getting hot and quickly find the problem so let's connect my power supply and try to see it together so here i have this mess five volts in here two amps limit and yes i can see amps of current being drawn and yeah I think this diet is getting hot yes this diet is getting hot so probably the only problem is this protection diet or maybe there is a chip of some kind let's try to put some alcohol and uh, make sure what's getting hot first okay you're gonna see it or not I connect the power supply and well probably diet went first yeah I think it's a diet I think it's a diet, diet and, but no, diet is showing good, that's really weird, huh. that's really weird, I was sure that the problem is the diet so maybe it's a cheap issue can be let's make sure one more time five amps two amps Chip is not actually really hot. Oh, 
but the diet it is hot. That's interesting. That's weird, I would say. That's really weird. How is it possible? As Master Sorin says, you know, you know him. Very good guy. Okay, let's make one more test. So is the diet. The chip is not hot. Only now it's starting to evaporate. Hmm. That's interesting. Clearly the diet is showing good, right? Yes. Maybe this cap actually is the one to blame. Is it? I think I checked it and it was in the post shirt. Hmm. Not now. So this is the ground and this is the plus and it's good. I don't really know. I don't understand. Okay, here we have one more cap, small one, I'm not sure that this can be the problem, but let's test it also. And yes, it's getting, it's getting hot, so actually this is this tiny capacitor is the one to blame and it's close to the connector so I think I should remove it in a bad way which you don't have to see. It's a brutal one. On the picture you've seen the result of my brutality and if we test the contact pads we see this diet through which this one through which the power goes here. As everyone complains that we should put this cap back to know its value, stuff like that, but we may check that this was Yeah, this was the bypass capacitor to the ground, so we should be okay, especially for the device like this. I think we should be okay, right?
course we are. So let's, by the way, let's check the consumption. I suppose it's going to be zero because there is no components. And yes, this is zero. By the way, here is the 12 volt charger. This is the output. If we connect it here, we can also see that this is working because here we can see the buck converter that converts 12 volts to 5 volts. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna put everything back, check the screen, and finish with this one. Okay, I put everything back, and now let's try 12 volts, which we have in our cars. Put it in. Here we have the sound. Here we have the mistake, no flash, and everything is working. Touch. The display is not touch pad. So that's it. This device is fixed. Don't blame me for not putting back the cap. This is life. And the life is sometimes you should sacrifice something because this is really not necessary. Okay, so that's it for this guy. We saved it for from the trash. I hope you like it and see you next time. Bye.